The goal of this presentation is to show how to analyze a capital investment project using the following commonly used criteria. 1. Payback period. 2. Net present value. 3. Internal rate of return. 4. Modified internal. 5. Profitability index. If you are not familiar with the capital budgeting analysis, please review the capital budgeting video before watching this video. Let's look at an example. Initial investment is $200,000. Annual of tax cash flows for year 1 is $60,000. Year 2, $80,000. Year 3, $80,000. Year 4, $35,000 and the terminal year cash flows are $30,000. The discount rate is 10% and the life of the project is 4 years. Let's post the cash flows and the interest rate on the timeline. Based on the information given to you in the exam, post the data on the timeline. Start with negative $200,000 on year 0, $60,000 on year 1, $80,000 on year 2, and $80,000 on year 3, $35,000 on year 4, and the terminal year cash flows of $30,000 on year 4. Post the interest rate above the timeline, which is 10%. Payback period calculation. Initial investment in the project is $200,000, and the company is interested in determining how long it takes to recover its investment. At the end of the first year, the company will receive $60,000 and the balance at the beginning of the second year is $140,000. At the end of second year, the company will receive $80,000, resulting in a balance of $60,000. At the end of the third year, the company will receive $80,000, which is greater than the outstanding balance. Stop here and determine what part of the third year the company will recover $60,000. Divide $80,000 into $60,000 to determine in what part of the year $60,000 will be recovered. Total time to recovery is 2 years plus 0.75 which is 2.75 years. So let's compute the NPV using the TI calculator. Clear the memory of the calculator and make sure the payments are set to one payment per year. Press CF key on your calculator. You will see a CF0 on the calculator screen. Enter the data in the following order. Input 200,000 plus and minus key and press enter. Down arrow 1 you will see CO1 on the calculator screen. Input $60,000 and press and key. Press down arrow twice you will see a prompt co2 on the calculator screen input 80,000 press enter key press down arrow twice you will see co3 on your calculator screen input 80,000 and press enter key. press down arrow twice you will see co4 on your calculator input 65,000 and press enter key press NPV key and you will see I on the calculator screen input 10 for the interest rate and press enter key. press down arrow once you will see NPV on the calculator screen press CPT key and NPV and you will see NPV of $25,162 will be displayed on the calculator screen. Press IRR and then CPT. IRR of 15.5 will be displayed on the calculator screen. Let's calculate the NPV using HP calculator. Clear the memory of the calculator and make sure the payments are set to one payment per year. Input 200,000. Press plus and minus key and press CFJ key. Input 60,000 and press CFJ key. Input 80,000. Press CFJ key. Input 80,000. Press CFJ key. Input 65,000 and press CFJ key. Input 10 for the interest rate and press I slash Y key. Press orange key and NPV key. The calculator will display NPV of $25,162. Press orange key and IRR key. Calculator will display the IRR of 15.59. To compute modified internal rate of return, you need to compute the future value of the cash flow for the project. To compute MIRR, you need to compute the future value of the cash flows for the project. Equate the cash outflows to future value of cash inflows to solve for the interest rate. Let's pose the cash flows on the timeline. Negative $200,000 on period 0, $60,000 on year 1, $80,000 on year 2, $80,000 on year 3, $65,000 on year 4. Compute the future value of cash inflows for the project at 10% interest rate. Based on the number of years, the cash flows will be in year 1, cash flows of $60,000 will be invested for 3 years. Year 2, cash inflows of $80,000 will be invested for two years. Year three cash inflows of 80,000 will be invested for year one. And the fourth year cash flows will not be invested because the project ends at the end of four years. Let's use the financial calculator and compute the future value of the cash inflows. Enter the data in the calculator as follows. 3N 10I slash Y 60,000 plus and minus PV zero payment. Compute future value. Future value is 79,086. Next 2N 10I slash Y 80,000 plus and minus key PV zero 
payment compute future value future value is 96,801 n 10 i slash y 80,000 plus and minus pv zero payment compute future value future value is 88,000 dollars post the future value on the timeline and add the cash flows for the four year the total is 329,660 draw a timeline showing the initial investment and future value of the cash flows from the project initial investment in the project is 200,000 dollars and the investment generated a future value of 329,660 dollars in four years question here is at what rate $200,000 will grow to $329,660 in four years? The answer will give you MIRR. Enter the data in the calculator. 4 and 200,000 plus and minus key PV, zero payments, 329,660 future value, compute interest. MIRR is 13.3%. This means investing $200,000 in the project will generate 13.3% rate of return if the cash flows from the projects are reinvested at the cost of capital. The profitable index to compute the profitable index, divide the present value of cash flows by initial outflows. Present value of cash flows can be computed easily if we have information on the NPV. In this example, we have calculated the NPV. Add the NPV to cash outflows and divide by present value of cash outflows. The profitable index is one point. Results. The analysis shows that the project cost will be covered before the four-year life of the project. NPV is positive. Both internal rate of return and modified internal rate of return are greater than the cost of capital and the profitable index is above 1. All the capital budgeting criteria shows that the project will be profitable based on the available data. Thank